Hi friends, today let's see about the enteric nervous system. So enteric nervous system is the subdivision of autonomic nervous system. So in the previous uh, video I have explained about the uh, sympathetic and parasympathetic uh, parasympathetic uh, nervous system. So here uh, autonomic nervous system is divided into three parts that is the sympathetic, parasympathetic and enteric nervous system. So sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system have been explained in the previous video. So now comes the enteric nervous system. So enteric nervous system is the subdivision of autonomic nervous system and it consists of the and it consists of 200 to 600 million neurons which is present in the GAT. So it is stated that enteric nervous system have more than more numerous than that of whole spinal cord. So uh, neurons which is uh, present in the GAT is more than that of the uh, neurons that which present in the spinal cord. So and then it can work depend independently and also dependently. So it can work independently and also depending upon the uh, sympathetic and also parasympathetic nervous system. And it is also known as the second brain. So that's about the introduction. Next comes to the anatomy of GAT. So here the innermost part of the uh, GAT is mucosa. So the innermost part is the mucosa and the mucosa is divided into three layers that is the epithelium, lamina propria and muscularis. Next comes the submucosa. Submucosa it consists of in the submucosa it consists of glands and uh, submucosal gland and also plexus which is known as this submucosal plexus or masonous plexus. So first comes the mucosa next comes the submucosa. Submucosa it consists of uh, numerous glands. It consists of numerous glands. And also it consists of uh, plexus which is known as the submucous plexus. Submucous, these, uh, these are the submucosal plexus. Uh, it is also known as mucinous plexus. Next comes the muscularis. Muscularis externa. Muscularis externa consists of two layer. Circular layer and longitudinal layer. Longitudinal muscle layer. In between the circular layer and the longitudinal muscle layer there is plexus which is known as orbax plexus or mandric plexus. So in between the circular layer, circular uh, muscle layer and the long tunnel muscle layer there are plexus uh, no fibers which is known as the um, mandric plexus or orbax plexus. So it consists of uh, ascending no fibers and descending no fibers. The ascending no fibers uh, that which run from the uh, oral cavity to the anal canal and descending nerve fibers it runs from the anal, can uh, uh, anal canal to the oral cavity. So these are the fibers, uh, these are the uh, these fibers together known as the myandric or orbac plexus. The outermost layer is known as the serosa. So these are the anatomy of uh, uh, GIT. Here here the submucosal plexus or uh, masonous plexus uh, mainly deals with the secretions of the gland uh, and the myandric plexus or orbac plexus mainly deal with the motility of food motility of food from the oral cavity towards the anal canal there are also sensory neurons which is present in the submucous, uh, submucosal plexus and also in the uh, myandric plexus so these sensory neurons are connected to the epithelium and to the submucosal plexus and also to the uh, myandric plexus um, to both the ascending and descending um, uh, nerve fibers all are interconnected so now when the foot enter into the lumen, lumen of the GAT it stretches the lumen so when the foot enter into the lumen it uh, stretches the lumen and when the lumen gets stretched, it uh, the sensory receptors, uh, sensory receptor or the sensory neuron gets stimulated, and it uh, simultaneously it stimulates the both the plexus that is the uh, submucosal plexus and the myandric plexus. So now first coming to the myandric plexus. 
Mandric plexus is mainly for the motility of the food, motility of uh, food from the oral cavity towards the anal canal. So, when the food uh, enters into the lumen, it stretches the lumen and the sensory uh, neurons uh, stimulate the uh, myandric plexus. In the myandric plexus, both the ascending and descending fibers get stimulated. The ascending fibers, the ascending fibers gives axon to the circular muscle. So, the ascending fibers gives axon to the circular muscles and causes the contraction of the circular muscle. Ascending fibers are mainly for the contraction. So, as the ascending fibers gives the uh, axon to the circular muscle causing the contraction of the circular muscle and the descending fibers gives axon to the longitudinal muscle use axon to the longitudinal muscles and causing relaxation of the longitudinal muscle. So, when the sensory neurons uh, stimulate the ascending and descending fibers, ascending fibers causing contraction, uh, gives axon to the circular muscle causing contraction of the circular muscle and descending fiber causing relaxation of the longitudinal muscle. So, uh, there will be contraction of the circular muscle and relaxation of the longitudinal muscle before the bolus or before the foot the area before the foot here there, there will be a contraction of the uh, circular muscle and relaxation of the longitudinal muscle and the upcoming area uh, the next area uh, of the foot or the upcoming area of the foot there should be relaxation there, su there should be relaxation of the circular muscles only if the circular muscle get relaxed the foot can enter in the next area or foot can enter into the upcoming area only if the circular muscle get relaxed the foot can enter into the upcoming area so for the relaxation of the circular muscle the descending fibers for the relaxation of the circular muscle the descending fibers gives axon to the uh, the descending fibers gives axon to the circular muscle and Ascending fibers gives axon to the longitudinal muscle. So when the descending fibers gives uh, 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 axon to gives axon to the circular muscle, that which leads to the relaxation of the circular muscles. And ascending fibers gives uh, uh, axons to the longitudinal muscle, causing contraction to the longitudinal muscles. So when the circular muscle get relaxed, the foot can enter into the upcoming area. Thus the foot will uh, goes to the thus, uh, thus the foot will goes to from the oral cavity to the anal canal. So here, when the foot enter into the lumen, the lumen gets stretched. Thus the when the lumen gets stretched, the sensory receptor in the uh, submucosal plexus and also in the meiotic plexus get stimulated. Uh, in the um, first in the meiotic plexus. The sensory uh, neuron give fibers to both the ascending and descending fibers. Here the ascending fibers gives uh, axons to the circular muscle leading to the contraction of the circular muscle and descending fibers gives axons to the longitudinal muscle leading to the relaxation of the longitudinal muscle. So before the foot, the area before the foot there will be contraction of the circular muscle and relaxation of the longitudinal muscle. So, as the foot have to move forward or the, as the foot have to move from the oral cavity to, to the anal canal, the upcoming area of the um, lumen, uh, upcoming area of the foot should be relaxed or the circular muscle have to be relaxed. So, the axons from the uh, descending uh, fibers gives axon to the circular muscle leading to the relaxation of the relaxation of the circular muscle causing the foot, uh, foot to move from the from this place to the upcoming place and the longitudinal muscle get contracted uh, thus the foot move from the oral cavity to the anal canal next coming to the submucosal plexus in the submucosal plexus the sensory neuron gets stimulated by the chemical composition of the food. So, when the food enter into the lumen, the, there will be a releasing of chemical composition from the food. Example, fatty acid, glucose, acidic and uh, peptides and these chemicals get released from the food to 
to the lumen so when the uh, these chemicals are released from the food the sensory neurons in the submucosal plexus get stimulated and this in turn stimulate the submucosal plexus and causing the uh, uh, causing the uh, stimulation of glands blood vessels and certain cells of certain types of cells in the submucosal area so when the uh, sensory uh, neuron gets stimulated it causing the it, it in turn stimulates the submucosal plexus the submucosal plexus uh, stimulates the glands these are the glands so these are the glands or the submucosal glands present in the submucosal area and there are also blood vessels and there are also blood vessels which is present in the submucosal area blood vessels which is present in the submucosal area and also there are certain types of cells present in the submucosal area so all these get stimulated when the submucosal plexus get stimulated when the submucosa or the submucosal plexus get uh, stimulated it causing the stimulation of the glands blood vessels and certain types of cells which is present in the submucosal area so when the glands get stimulated it uh, leads to the secretion of glands when the blood vessel gets stimulated it leads to the increase of blood flow and when the um, the cells uh, the cells in the submucosa get stimulated it leads to the secretion of bile duct pancreatic juice and also helps in transfer of glucose from the blood to the cells so all these functions that uh, um, all these functions will be uh, held in the submucosal uh, submucosal area when the submucosal plexus gets stimulated and this the enric nervous system in the gat uh, functions uh, independently by the uh, submucosal plexus uh, and the myenric plexus present in the gat uh, by uh, for for the mobility or motility of the food from the oral cavity to the anal canal and also for the uh, secretion uh, the enric nervous system also uh, functions uh, func function depending upon the Uh, no autonomic nervous system such as the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system in uh, uh, when the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system involved in the enric nervous system uh, when if there if there is a increased secretion if there is a increased secretion the sympathetic nervous system get uh, involved and if there is a decreased secretion or de decreased motility the uh, parasympathetic nervous system will involve in the enric nervous system so the enric nervous system also acts depending upon the sympathetic and nervous uh, sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system when the secretion got increased uh, the sympathetic nervous system will act uh, this is because the uh, the main function of sympathetic nervous system it decreases the gland secretion so when the secretions in the uh, gat got increased the sympathetic nervous system will act and when the uh, secretion got decreased the parasympathetic nervous system will act in the uh, gat or the enric nervous system so that's about the enric nervous system so again coming to the introduction uh, enric nervous system is the subdivision of ans or autonomic nervous system it consists of uh, 200 to 600 million of neurons in gat it is more than that of neurons which is present in the spinal cord and it acts independently and also depending upon the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system and it is also known as the second brain in the anatomy of gat it consists of mucosa submucosa and muscularis uh, muscular layer that is the circular and the longitudinal muscle layer and the outermost is the serosa mucosa it consists of three layer that is the epithelium Uh, lamina uh, propria and uh, muscularis in the submucosa there are submucosal plexus which is present and also there are glands blood vessels and certain types of cells also present in the submucosal area and it is also known as mesner's plexus in the uh, muscularis layer um, muscularis externa Uh, there are circular layer and longitudinal layer muscle layer and between the circular and longitudinal there are 
plexus nerve plexus that is the meiotic plexus it consists of uh, two fibers that is the ascending nerve fibers and descending nerve fibers and the outermost is the serosa so uh, coming to the action when the food enter into the uh, lumen the lumen got stretches the lumen get stretcher and the sensory nerve fibers which is present in the submucosal area and also in the in, in the meiotic area get stimulated in the meiotic area when the uh, sensory uh, neuron gets stimulated it stimulate in turn it stimulate the ascending and descending uh, nerve fibers the ascending uh, nerve fibers get stimulated and it gives axon to the circular layer leading to the contraction of the circular uh, uh, muscle and uh, the descending fibers gives axons to the uh, longitudinal layer leading to the relaxation of the longitudinal uh, muscle so before the uh, the area before the bolus there will be uh, there will be contraction of the circular uh, circular muscle and relaxation of the longitudinal muscle the area uh, upcoming area of the foot should be uh, the circular muscle should, should be relaxed even if uh, only if the circular muscle get relaxed the foot can enter in the upcoming area if the circular muscle uh, uh, as the circular muscle have to be relaxed the descending fibers gives uh, gives uh, descending uh, nerve fiber give axon to the circular muscle causing the relaxation of the um, circular muscle and the ascending fibers gives axon to the longitudinal area uh, leading to the contraction of the longitudinal muscle thus the foot uh, and the, thus the foot moves from oral cavity to the anal canal in the uh, submucosal plexus uh, as the Uh, chemical composition from the food uh, released into the lumen then sensory neuron gets uh, stimulated and the sensory neurons in turn it stimulates the submucosal plexus uh, the submucosal in the submucosal plexus as the submucosal plexus stimulate it causing to the uh, secretion of glands which is present in the submucosal area and also it stimulates the blood vessels and also it stimulates certain types of cells in the Mm, cells in the submucosal area so, uh, so it uh, it stimulates the gland leads, leading to the secretion of gland it stimulates the blood vessels leading to the uh, increase in flow of blood uh, flow of blood and also it uh, it stimulates the it stimulates certain types of cells uh, leading to the uh, secretion of uh, pancreatic juice by uh, bile juice etc so thus uh, leading to, uh, thus causing the secretion of glands and also on uh, the mobility of food from the oral cavity to the anal canal as the enteric nervous system acts uh, independently it also acts uh, depending upon the sympathetic and uh, parasympathetic nervous system when the secretions get uh, increase the sympathetic nervous system acts and uh, leading to the decreasing decrease uh, decrease in gland secretion glandular secretion when the uh, secretion got in, uh, decreased the parasympathetic nervous system acts and uh, causing the increase of uh, increase of secretions so that's about the enteric nervous system thank you